Hello buddy, welcome back to another episode of Just Advan playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon playthroughs. Last episode we dealt with uh, the Demon Ruins, really. An entire episode of the fucking Demon Ruins. Don't you love it? And this episode... <laughs> well, I did die to the old Demon King because of laziness, I guess. Also, this is the wrong bonfire. Um, and in this episode we're just going to go over to either still of the Body of Valley and get the entire... Stick started. We're making some nice uh, headway. Also, how long have I, been, have I been playing right now? This must be like the four hour mark, right? Well, <laughs> three hours. Would you look at that? I'm ahead on schedule. That's probably gonna take me like 20 minutes or something to get past uh, either still of the Body of Valley. There's not really anything that I have to go and get over there when it comes to item drops. Or that I would have to go out of the way for, so. Actually, no, wait, there is. I need to do a serious quest. Because I still need to get the shield of her grandpappy. Alright, let's go and run a little bit. And then get you to do your... Haha, <laughs> perfect. The damage that I'm doing is less perfect, though. But it should still bring you into prayer mode, right? Yeah. Tis your boy! Without a penis. There we go. Well, I guess the things that they have might be a little bit... Might be something else. I do find it very annoying that if you like run to the other side of the bridge, and then run all the way on the other side of the bridge again to get summoned. And yes, you are required to go over here. And get this bonfire. I'm sorry, I don't think the bonfire, but you have to reach this point, man, I So there we go, I got the bonfire, let me go and rest at it, just to respawn the area. And let's go and run back now. Boom. I'm wondering, actually, how does it look in the scabbard? I feel like the scabbard looks so underwhelming. Some scabbards look so good, but some of them just aren't special at all. Oh well. I suppose the scabbard isn't really, like, well, I guess some ornate swords could definitely use some beautiful scabbards, but aside from that, I don't really think there's a lot of point in having a good-looking scabbard, I suppose. Just to be, they just need to be strong and able to hold your sword. Or something like it. Who knows? I don't know much about, uh, about medieval shenanigans. Or I, don't, I just don't know that much about swords, really. And I'm not in the mood to become like a really... Like, I'm not in the mood for learning it all either. Oh boy. Oh, wow. Well, that was a mistake in half. <laughs> ah, yes, of course, because you can heal and then look at me so that I can't stab you in the back. You little shit. Oh, <laughs> wow. Ganger Banger. <laughs> no S's for you, buddy. There we go. Duty fulfilled. Thank you for your kind assistance. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. I still love this character so much. I hate her in combat. She sucks so much. <laughs> but I like her so much. Also, very much like the armor, though. That one looks really good. One of the better looking female armors, in my opinion. So that is all in order. Be wary of behind. Nani. Oh yeah, right. I also have to fight Freed without parrying. But I guess that's not too big of an issue. Well, the thing is, like, parrying Freed is just good for the first phase. And dangerous in the last phase. Because <laughs> there's a lot of crap that can happen. So I think I'll... I I'm not sure if I'm going to be parrying Freed that much anymore. Sullivan, though, pairing Sullivan is very good. So that's going to be a little bit of a pain in the arse to deal with. Or to deal with the lack of being able to parry. Whoopsie. Okay, at least I can deal with you guys relatively easily. 
A uh, lag spike. Tiny one. Might get invaded now. God damn it. Yep. Ah, Pontiff Knight laggings. They're not that good. Like, just the Pontiff Knight armor in general is not that good when it comes to defense. I guess it looks fine with uh, all the fashion sense, but... That is just about it. Oh. Let me pillage the rest of your remains. And also kind of get the attention of the Irithyll slaves. Get them to move over here. So that I can be out of range from the Fire Witch. Well, I would say that. <laughs> Hello, friend. Okay. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go and wait over here <laughs> for the Irithyll slaves to come to me. Because if I get into range of that fire, which it's gonna be a pain to deal with. Uh, is there actually any other ring that I can wear right now that I might find to wear? I don't think so. Oh, wait. Are you kidding me? Right. Next one, please. Get ready for the next round of slaves. There we go. And another piece of Estus. Because why in the hell not? Perfect. <laughs> that was. I was. For some kind of reason, I was like. My, my finger was automatically going to the dodge button. But then I was like, nah. I'm fine. While at the same time being very unsure if you were, if I was actually fine. All right. Hello, friends. How about you move over here and stop puking weird shit in my face? There you go. Ah, oh, yes, the Pond of Night Crown. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> of course that would happen. Damn it, I ran out of stamina. And there we go. I'm not gonna stab you. There's not a lot of point in that. I'd rather slash you. Okay. I'm a little bit scared of getting invaded right now, though. Well, I'm pretty damn close to the bonfire, so... I suppose there's not gonna be that big of an issue, then. I'm all scared. It's always really annoying to get invaded in a place like this. Oh, well... Yeah, actually, just in general. I feel like it is still is just a really big difficulty spike in Dark Souls 3. And it gets really annoying if you get invaded in here. Which tends to happen a lot because this is an easy place to invade. In. There's a lot of enemies to use to your advantage. Which a lot of people do because honorable battle is for pussies. No. That's not what I think, of course. But that is what some other people might think. Blessings of the moon upon your journey. Meanwhile, let me take nourishment from my lady over here. I'm getting a pretty nice increase in damage. Ah, Ashen one! Uh, let's see. Greatsword and Pyromancy. Uh, fists and Great Axe. Pyromancy and Great Hammer. Greatsword and Ultra Greatswords. There we go. Ashen one. Ashen one! Let me go and spend all them souls. <laughs> oh, look at the damage! I am uh, liking that. It's always such a difficult choice. Damage or survivability. <laughs> damage or HP. Or like just basically attack or defense. To me that, is, that has always been such a difficult thing to choose between. In general defense... I would say that defense is better, in a certain way. Like, in a lot of games, defense is just the better choice. Because it will make it so that you can survive more attacks. But at the same time, every single battle will become a slog, which is... not particularly fun. 
<laughs> Invaded by Dark Spirit Magic Man. Well, there's my invader that I was waiting for. I'm wondering where it's gonna be though. Where would he appear if somebody invaded me at this point? Hmm. I guess I'll go over here for a moment. I might get invaded by... Creighton. I'm not sure if you can actually get invaded. You can get invaded by... Can you? Actually, no, you can't. Wow. I don't think you can be invaded by... Another dark spirit while... Or like, by an NPC dark spirit while you've been invaded by... A normal dark spirit. Or a player. Yeah. Let me go and kill you. Because otherwise you're going to follow me and be annoying. Okay. Let me go and drop down here. You're plunging a tactical, one of you guys. Arch. Avoid the dude that would normally follow my head and cut me into pieces. Or at least try to. <laughs> yep. Well, at least that's right. I'm wondering if if this invader is actually going to be able to find me. I have, I have absolutely no idea where I would spawn. It would be kind of annoying if I... If I got killed, but... At the same time... I can get through these areas really quickly. <laughs> so that's not really going to be an issue. Well, I have no idea where he is, but I have a tiny feeling that the uh, the invader also doesn't know where he is. Oh, you know what really sucks? That back there. I can't get that bonfire. Because I got invaded. I find that such a stupid thing. There we go. Thank you for going back. That's one thing that I will definitely think well that I will definitely say is very annoying in Irithyll also. And that is this place over here. Because this place already belongs to Well the thing is it's the bonfire doesn't belong to Irithyll Dungeon, but this little part does, which is so stupid and annoying. Oh well. In the end we're fine because the invader never found me. I can definitely understand it though. Sometimes it's very difficult to figure out where the player is. Nice two shotting these enemies. Uh, hmm. I need to go and do something first before I continue. You have to do that before you defeat uh, Pontiff Sullivan, by the way. You have to send Grey Rat over to Irithil before Pontiff Sullivan. Before you defeat Pontiff Sullivan. And Zeke, uh, Zeke also needs to be there, because otherwise Grey Rat is gonna die. Those are the two requirements to get Grey Rat to return from this trip. Well, it's either that or you... Or you tell Patches, but... That's an entire different thing. Uh, let me go and use another one of my souls, actually. Just so I can level up and have less souls on me. Alright, uh, I'm gonna continue to get a lot more damage from my dexterity, but I would definitely like to upgrade my HP to level 20 and then stay around there. How many other bone shorts do I have? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, yep, let's get a move on. Now I will be invaded by... What's her face, though? Is it the her or he? I don't know, the Lunar Pale Shade. But that is the one enemy which I will be invaded by. But I can deal with that. At least I'm gonna try to deal with that. <laughs> if anything. Be wary of ambush. 
I will. Message. Um, hello? I'm over here. There we go. Oh, it's so nice being able to two-shot these enemies with the sword. Makes dealing with them a lot easier. There we go. Excrement covered ashes. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Thank you for mid force. Thank you for the Zigbow. And there we go. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. <laughs> that one sounded like a. It's like, hmm, okay. Well, I guess that is kind of what snoring sounds like. I wouldn't know about it. Well, I know that my, like, <laughs> my dad can snore, yes. But I don't really. It's been a long time since I heard him snore. <laughs> well, I live in a different room, so it's it's very difficult for me to hear him snore. If I hear if I heard him snore right now, that'd be insane. <laughs> because then he would be snoring as loud like loud enough to be able to hear it on the other side of the freaking house. Thanks for the watch, Titan Knight. Which I well yeah, it's always useful. Titanite in general is always useful in this playthrough since I'm going to be upgrading most of my weapons to almost maximum level. Gotta love the dog barking again. Screw the chests because they don't contain anything that I need to care about. <laughs> I thought I was going to get hit by that bolt. Or by a bolt? Yeah, I should know about that arrow. Get over here, buddy. The one thing that I do like is that I can, like, I can finally hit enemies again in between their attacks. Like over here. <laughs> like over there, and then proceeds to get hit. The Dragon Slayer Great Bow and the Silver Knight Home. Cool. Kinda need your shield, though. Also, the Dragon Slayer Bow is a pretty shitty drop to get because it is also out on the field somewhere unless if you wanted something different or whatever if you wanted to infuse it differently can you actually infuse those i don't know oh wow the silver knight gauntlets actually aren't that good compared to the why is the knight armor so good oh shit the knight armor is ridiculously good i've noticed when it comes to defense and also weight in general, like you can wear it with relative ease, I'd say. Interesting. I still don't like the way it looks. Like, I don't like the pieces individually. Them all combined is fine, but individually they suck. Well, that was very handy of you to just be in my way. Am I gonna get invaded by, uh, what's his face? Oh wait, no, I killed the, uh... I'm sorry, I stopped the entire Londo shenanigans. But I didn't talk to Yuria, so I might not get hunted, by, uh, hunted down anymore. Can you please die? How about no? There we go. Don't like these dogs too much. Just keep casually walking this way. And then rolling every now and then. Pillage the remains. For even more for, for even more. For even more of those uh, things. Freaking dog. Why are you barking? Question of the ages. Why does a dog bark? 
Okay, I know that if I get close to you, you're probably gonna hit me with um, frost bites, which I don't really think I'm gonna deal with. Hello, friend. And a kick, and the Wingardium Levio is 690 damage. Nice. I have a decent amount of souls, but I think I'm gonna go and fight Pontiff nonetheless. Now, I know that there's another one of you guys around here. There we go. Okay, let's see how Pontiff is going to go without a parachute. And not particularly that much damage. And a weapon that would be pretty dang good to parry with. <laughs> to do critical hits with. And not that amazing outside of that. Actually, no, wait. No, it's fine. Yeah, you know, fuck it. Ah! Uh. Heal up. I would say that if I could actually heal up. Why do you combo so much? Okay, there we go. I managed to recover. <laughs> I should not parry anymore. Going heal up again. Let us start the dance. Oh boy. Let's back off. Did, I'm sorry, did you see the amount of damage that this did to me? Because <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Oh boy. It's kind of crazy that like this boss is already insane in its normal form. Then it's like, second phase! Be prepared to deal with a second me! Yep, you're dead. Sayonara! I could have definitely died in the first part of the battle, but... I didn't. <laughs> uh, I was pretty close to him. <laughs> like... Well, yeah, I couldn't... I could not resist but try to parry him. The thing is, like, the parry timing with this... with uh, medium shield is just a little bit different. And I don't really want to learn myself like the parry timing of the medium shield because it's just going to screw me over when I'm using another one of those. Like when I'm using a an actual parry shield. Oh well. This is going to be it, people. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Just That. I was playing Dark Souls 3. The weapon playtures. The next episode we're going to go and deal with Anor Londo. Goodbye.